Greetings and welcome to The Contracting Guy. I am The Contracting Guy. And today I want to talk to you about something that was asked of me by the president of Remember Veteran Grave Markers Incorporated. Now, I know the president of, the, of Remember Veteran Grave Markers Incorporated because that's me. And the question really deals with government contracting, standard work, and what a uh, headstone is supposed to look like. So I want to share with you a few things uh, from a government contracting standpoint that is very pertinent to uh, government headstones that are given out to veterans that are used the, uh, not only in the national cemeteries, but in the public and private cemeteries. So here it goes. About... 80% of the dollars spent for in, in 2023 that are planned uh, will be going to f five, four or five companies. And there's about uh, 12 companies that do headstones for the federal government. Now, I'll show a graphic on that in just a moment. But what's important is this, is that when the government puts out a requirement for a headstone, the headstones have to look the same. They have to have the same feel. They have to almost they don't have to read the same because each one is tailored by name, by information, but the look and feel is pretty much the same. So when you have stylized information on a headstone, that is a telltale sign that that is not a government headstone. I've seen cursive I've seen ra uh, a different kind of raised lettering. Uh, these types of things suggest they're not a government headstone. Doesn't mean they're not a veteran headstone. It doesn't mean that somebody didn't pay for it, um, but it wasn't the United States federal government. When the U.S. government contracts for services, these services are a consistent practice. So the look and feel that you see a bronze headstone or a flat marker, or a uh, headstone, marble, or granite, they all look the same. So at some point, I have seen doing my work in, in not only federal contracting, but also doing my work in Remember Veteran Grave Markers, I've seen a variety of different stones that have a close proximity to a government stone, but they don't uh, meet the uh, consistency uh, the consistency of the federal stone. And that's important for you to know is that when a when I call out a stone as not being a government stone, it's because the government acts in a particular way. And I know this because I'm part of the system, or at least was part of the system that did solicitations to get these things done. So when you fill out a form 40-1330, uh, that information is then transferred on to the, uh, the headstone. Um, there's nothing in there that says it's stylized. There's nothing that says that it's a particular you know, way that you want it. It's a particular, uh, it has a standard look and feel because the contractors have to respond with a standard look and feel for a federal headstone. I want you to take away this, is that when you look at a headstone and it doesn't, it may look great, but if it doesn't look like other headstones, it most likely is not a federal headstone. Now, it's probably still a good one, and it's probably a veteran validated stone, but it's not one that is issued by the Department of Veterans Affairs uh, National Cemetery Administration for that veteran. So that's important to be able to take away. Keep that in mind as you are looking at these uh, the headstones. As the contracting guy, I know this stuff because that's what I did. I knew how this stuff works. But as the uh, remember veteran grave markers guy, I see this as being you know uh, a discriminator between what is issued by the federal government and what is not issued by the federal government. And while there are some pr close uh, proximities to uh, that design. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the same. So I wanted to leave with that. So as the as the uh, contracting guy, you got some great information from me in my profession as a government contracting guy. But as a uh, Remember Veteran Grave Markers president, you, you also have great information because you know 
how to define what is what. So that's important. So with that being said, this is the contracting guy and the president of Remember Veteran Grave Markers. We're out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.